overnight temperatures were pretty close to seasonable today in South Jersey. Just a degree above average at Atlantic City International Airport. Even our morning lows were pretty close to 67 degrees as well. We were nowhere near our records and we have a big fat zero for our rain here in South Jersey throughout the day today. Now, as we go forward into the evening, I would anticipate on your evening being dry. The only exception could be a shower along the Delaware Bay. Then for Wednesday and Thursday, expect about 10% of your day to have some kind of rain with it. That's only about an hour at most. So for the most part, we are talking about a dry Wednesday and Thursday. As we go into Friday, that'll change a little bit. About half of the day should be wet, and that's going to be with either a coastal storm that could even be a tropical storm. We'll talk about that in a little bit before scattered showers and storms on Saturday. So we have that early Delaware Bay shower potentially. Otherwise, we are partly cloudy. Some fog will develop after midnight. And low temperatures, pretty balmy in the low to mid 70s. Then for Wednesday, we're a little bit above average. We have 89 over on the mainland, 84 at the shore. It's a pretty typical summer day. Morning sunshine mixing with a couple of afternoon clouds. Could you see a thunderstorm during the afternoon? Sure, but it really should only be on the mainland. We'll look at our sea and sand report because this will be the place to be, especially with these temperatures in the low to mid 70s on the water. The surf height is low. The rip current risk is low as well. Just make sure to put on the sunscreen as you will burn in about 15 minutes. We're going to keep the theme on the coast because we are looking at the tropics. This is from the National Hurricane Center in this area of low pressure in Georgia. Well, that will go offshore and could potentially become Tropical Storm Faye, and that would be close to us. Now, that being said, I wouldn't get too hung up on whether it's going to be a tropical storm or not, because if it is a tropical storm, it should be weak. 40, 45, maybe 50 miles an hour sustained max, and that's going to be offshore from us. More importantly to us will be how wet our day will be on Friday. Will there be any coastal flooding? And there looks to be some rain during the day on Friday. You see it here for a good portion of the day, especially during the afternoon and evening as that low pressure system comes pretty close to us here. Could see one to even localized two inch amounts of rain that would bring some street flooding as well as stream and creek flooding. However, as far as the coastal flooding goes, minor flood stage at best. We're getting lucky because we are in between the full and the new moon. Maybe a washout for Friday, but I'm not ready to call it that just yet. Saturday and Sunday after that storm is a sizzler. Temperatures around 90 degrees and we have the afternoon thunderstorms, but I wouldn't cancel any outdoor plans. We'll look at the shore seven day again, coastal flooding, minor flood stage at best. We'll have a little bit of an onshore wind starting from the southeast and turning to the northeast. Sustained winds at 20 miles an hour at most is going to be the case for us here. We've seen worse throughout the year here in South Jersey. I'll keep you updated on this all throughout the night and tomorrow on social media, or you can sign up for my something in the air newsletter. We'll be talking about it at the press of weather.